Okay, folks, let me introduce you to the Robo Scooter Z1D Plus. This is it. Nice unit, 4,000 watts of brushless motors in the wheels. I'm going to show you how to get on this. Uh, it's real easy. All you have to do is after you get on it, just put your one foot up here like this. Just get right up on it like that. As you see, it turns left and right by swinging this, this way. There's no throttle or brake, so if you want to go backwards or forward, you just lean forward or you lean backwards. Easy to get off, you just get off of it like that. Easy to get on it, you just get on it like this. Lean forward to go forward, lean back to go back. Left and right, turn it this way. Okay, this is how you turn it on. First, turn this on. This shows everything going on. And we come down here and turn this on. Now you can see up here, this is turned on, this is the battery indicator, small one in the middle is the uh, battery charge on this unit. This tells your kilometers per hour and it shows that it's in the lock mode. So now we take the remote and unlock it and you see that's now in the unlock mode, it's also in the high speed mode. And now we have three lights down here. Now I'm going to show you. You see, there's left and right. You see what's going on. Okay. I can turn on the lights like this. And now I have headlights and tail. And of course, turn signals. When you're riding, you're making a turn, it gives a, a turn. Okay, you can see we're in the run mode here. If I put this on the lock mode, which is this way, this is now locked. And what that means is if somebody was to try to walk away with it or take it, it's going to start flashing and warn you. So as soon as it gets moved at all. Okay, and easy enough to shut off, I just take the remote and I put it on the lock and hold this down and everything shuts down. Okay, this is the charger it comes with. It charges two amps, 84 volts DC LiPo, and it's fused. And when it's charged, the green light is on. Now I'm gonna turn this on. I'll show you how to do this. Down here, there's a flap, and you just simply Plug this in like this, it begins charging. When it's done, it all shuts off and you'll get the green light. Well here's how it comes and what it looks like inside. The wheels are in separate boxes and are easy to install along with the turning arm, fenders and handlebars. The balance gyros are pretty similar to the RC helis and quads too. The LiPo battery is shipped separately and that's easy to install. The foot pressure switches are actually Hall Effect devices allowing finer steering with more or less pressure on the feet in addition to the steering arm. Well you know if you've been following me, you know I just love gadgets and this is one of those that I really really like. You know while I'm gliding here to show you the way the Robo Scooter glides on all the terrain, I want to tell you how I actually got these replaced. You see before the fire which destroyed almost everything we loved and worked all our lives to get, we had a couple early old Segways which I purchased used on eBay. You may have seen some of them in the videos. Well this was the first model Segway. Didn't have lights, didn't have a kickstand. Um, you know it was pretty expensive around six thousand dollars. I bought this one used uh, quite a few years ago. I still paid two thousand dollars for it. It was actually in my storage uh, garage 
when I had the fire so I still have it. The little green light comes on and this tells you how your battery is. Okay, and you steer it by uh, actually can throw you off pretty easy so I don't, uh, I'm not so used to it anymore. Well, due to the high cost of the batteries and the lack of tire replacements I was searching for and I found other manufacturers in Shenzhen, China and yes that's the same place your iPhones are made well they were making better units at a much lower prices it was almost cheaper to buy a whole new unit from them than pay the eleven twelve hundred dollar battery placement for those old segways well, I ordered one to test and I was also then offered a chance to sell them in the USA as an exclusive distributor. Well, I figured that'd be a way to pay for mine so I didn't pass it up and decided to purchase them. Well, I actually wound up buying 40 of those which cost me most of my savings. But alas, after I sold 30 of them, thought I was doing pretty good, I received a letter from the International Trade Commission telling me I couldn't sell them do anymore due to a complaint from Segway. Well, I was devastated because I'm old and retired now, and especially with the expense of starting a website, setting up an LLC, renting a building, and making videos, it was pretty costly. So instead of hiring a lawyer and trying to fight it, I decided to just go ahead and sign the papers agreeing to stop selling the units and take the loss. So not only could I no longer purchase more for sale, I had six of them to get burned up in the fire along with my other pleasure items like my boat and motorcycles. Well, as luck goes, I should have actually waited because the whole process was abruptly ended when the Chinese manufacturer purchased Segway and now owns them today. This made all the lawsuits dissolve. The good news is that at least I had some insurance. Of course, it didn't cover all the items we lost, and what I finally got paid I had to use to buy another house, furniture, beds, and clothes, so there was really nothing left. But the modeling crowd has saved me and sent me many items to get me flying again, including models, tools, and money. I even had a guy give me an old boat and one of the local dealers made me a deal on a couple of used motorcycles. Well, I've been blessed and touched by that kindness from the bottom of my heart and I really I thank you all. On top of that, Millard from RoboScooters.com, who was also named in the complaint but chose to fight, heard about my demise and offered me these two robo scooters at his cost so I went for it and here they are. These are the best machines for my wife and I to have and enjoy our twilight years doing something together. I can't walk or run anymore very well due to breaking all the bones in my right foot with helicopter accident years ago but I can skate and I can glide as the foot doesn't bend. And now the weather actually might start taking a turn for the better my wife and I can glide, ride, and fish for therapy and closure. Here's a bit of interesting history on the Segway. It was invented and first put on the market in 2001 by Dean Kamen. He was a terrific engineer and entrepreneur. Still is. Well, they were quite popular, but just too expensive for the average person to buy at around $6,000 each. You know, they worked fantastic and were fun to ride, but offered no frills like remotes or lights or anything like that. The company was actually sold two times during its lifetime, with each owner trying to get it going again, but prices were still high. When they came out with the off-road version, it was close to $12,000, but still no lights. In fact, the Chinese manufacturer invented theirs on their own when some of their college students saw the movie Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Well, <laughs> they say they didn't even have a machine, but only used what they saw in the movie to develop one. I'm not sure how the suit would have turned out, but after reading the legal responses from the lawsuits, I learned that this lean balance technology was around a lot earlier than Segway was, including patents that I saw from Sony, MIT, and others who were actually working on stand-up ro robots. In fact, 20 years earlier, when I was working at Kraft RC Systems, I invented my own self-balancing robot toy using two Kraft servos and mercury switches. I never considered riding it, I was just trying to make a robot. Well unfortunately these prototypes were burned up in the fire, but here are a couple of pictures of them that I found with my old craft radios which were also destroyed. I don't know where they got the idea because we were one of the only ones in the USA making digital servos, including making all the Heathkit servos. 
Anyway, Segway still makes and sells their Segways, but now has incorporated some of the less expensive versions into their line, and we now can all enjoy what we want.